South Korea will allow COVID-19 patients to cast their ballots in next month's presidential election. Infected people and those in quarantine will be given a short window to vote after regular polling closes. Our concern has been growing that the mounting outbreak will disrupt the election. Up to this point, people diagnosed with a contagious disease are effectively banned from voting as they must be isolated. But lawmakers have agreed to amend the legislation. South Korea will elect its next president on the 9th of March. And the race has already begun. Campaigning officially begins tomorrow with 11 candidates in the battle for president. But as Lim Yun-suk reports, it's shaping up to be a fierce battle between two front runners. While the race for the presidential blue house looks crowded, it's really a competition between just two candidates. They're Lee Jae-myung of the ruling Democratic Party and Yoon song yeol from the main opposition People Power Party. Mr. Lee of the ruling party pledged to become a president for the economy and people's livelihood. Old Mr. Yoon has been training his gun on corruption allegations involving his ruling party opponent. The conservative politician used to be the country's prosecutor general under this administration of President Moon Jae-in. But he prematurely resigned in protest of the ruling party's push to create a new investigative agency that would weaken the prosecutor's power. Currently, he narrowly leads in most polls. Gallup's latest poll in February showed Mr. Yoon with 37 percent support, while the ruling party candidate trailed closely behind with a 36 percent support rate. But Mr. Yoon is not expected to be a shoe in yet, especially if An Cho Su, the center right candidate for the minor opposition People Party, decides to stay in the race. Mr. An received 13 percent support in Gallup's latest poll as the third most popular candidate. The doctor turned politician proposed over the weekend that he and Mr. Yoon should merge in order to beat the ruling party's candidate, Lee Jae Myung. Alice say if Mr. Yoon and Mr. An join forces, it may seal the fate of the ruling party's candidate. Meanwhile, Shim Sang Jung, the presidential nominee of the left wing Justice Party, is making her fourth attempt at the presidency. In the last presidential election in 2017, she came in fifth, winning just over 6 percent of the votes. Currently, support for her is about 3 percent. Major domestic issues such as skyrocketing property prices, income equality and high youth unemployment are among issues that South Koreans will consider when they go to the polls. And experts say some voters, especially the elderly, will also be thinking about security issues and whether the next president will be able to deal with rising threats from his northern neighbor, North Korea. The outcome of the March 9 election will be significant to South Korea's foreign policy too, especially when it comes to Japan and China. But it will be the domestic issues and how well the presidential candidates are able to address them that will decide who gets to be the country's next leader. Lim Yon-suk, CNA, Seoul.